When people hear about the £1.25 billion investment in Port Talbot Steelworks and the UK steel industry to decarbonise using the technology of electric arc furnace based steel making, people naturally think about the construction elements of it and the big pieces of kits that are being brought in, the electric arc furnace and all the infrastructure that goes with it. Probably what they think less about is the electrical requirements to power the furnace and everything that goes with it. And recently we've signed another contract with a major supplier, ABB. I'm joined today by Steve Winkley. Steve, welcome back to the site, firstly. We saw you recently with Classim as part of the Pickle Line contract. This contract you've got with us on this project is different and it's about the electrical infrastructure. Tell us a bit about what's involved. Right, so um, it's an electric art furnace. So what you need <laughs> is electricity. <laughs> And what the site needs to build a new electric arc furnace, it needs a brand new electricity connection from the yeah. national grid. Yeah. So we've got electricity that's going to come into the site. Over there on that side of the site, it's going to come in at uh, 275,000 volts. Wow. It's going to come to a substation, which is national grid's um, part of the project. And at that substation, national grid are going to transform the electricity down to 33,000 volts. And then it's our job to get that 33,000 volts all the way down to all the individual consumers for the new plant. Yeah. I think the way to think about it is think about your house. So on your house, you've got a little box outside, you've got a connection to the electricity company, and that connection is at 240 volts. Yeah. You've got a little fuse, which might be an 80 amp fuse. And then inside your house, you've got uh, your... Um, circuit board, you've got some MCBs, you've got, say, in your kitchen, your largest appliances, your washing machine, your fridge, your cooker. Yeah. Well, for us, our cooker is an electric arc furnace. <laughs> it's uh, on a slightly different scale, isn't it, Steve? Well, well, that's right. And our fuse box is not really a fuse box. It's a huge building that you can fit lots of houses into. And the switches are really big. So you're not looking at things with 40 amp fuses or 15 amp fuses. You're looking at things that are 6,000 amps. Yeah. And they're not at 240 volts. They're at 33,000 volts when it comes in. Yeah, so, yeah. Um, so your challenge, I guess, Steve, is you talk to the national grid, the power comes in, it comes into a substation. And from then on, between that and the electric arc furnace and actually the whole of the melt shop, your challenge is to join the two things up. Is that fair? Well, that's right. So without electricity, nothing is yeah. going to work. You know, all these guys, you can yeah. see the construction going on, you know, starting behind you. Um, nothing's going to work without electricity. So our challenge is to get the electricity there at the right time as well in the project. So by the time we get to the end of 2027, yeah. we've got to be ready. We've got to have all our systems in place. We've got to have everything ready to go so the guys can start to commission. Yeah. So it's, it's quite a big thing. But the opportunity we've taken actually to build for the future now is to make sure that when we put electrical infrastructure in which every industrial site has had yeah. you know, in the past is we make sure we do something for the future so it's now our opportunity now to make sure that we build in new technology to make things as safe as they possibly can be there's no need anymore for people to stand in front of big switches big fuse boards big um, switch boards mm. you do that all remotely from the pulpit you monitor everything remotely from the pulpit the system tells you when it's got to be maintained yeah. from the pulpit yeah. so it's we use technology to massively improve safety and massively improve operational efficiency yeah so I, I guess operational efficiency is another bit where we've we've been sort of working with our um, technology partner to Nova yeah. on the electric art furnace. Yeah, yeah. And I was going to come on to that because there's one thing about connecting the plant to the to the national grid and all of the infrastructure that requires for the whole of the melt shop over there. But as you you were starting to say you, you're working with Tenova, who are the supplier of the electric art furnace itself on some new technology, patented technology, which will make the arc furnace run more efficiently. That's right. Well, ABB has got um, a technology called ArcSave, which is stirring technology. That's being used on um, traditional art furnaces where they're not continuously fed. Mm. Now, with Tonova, Tonova and ABB have worked together to develop something called ConStirrer. So this is stirring the arc furnace, the molten material in the arc furnace, uh, while it's been continuously charged because we've got a continuously charged arc furnace here. Yeah. Um, so again, 
it's a brilliant piece of technology so it uses electromagnetism to actually stir the material in the furnace as you're trying to melt it so that speeds up the melting process it uses less electricity it makes things safer because you've got no direct attachment to the material yeah. at all yeah. and it improves production yeah. so you know what we what we're looking at is a potential five percent decrease in the amount of electricity you use and you use a huge amount of electricity in an yeah. electric yeah. art furnace and a five percent increase in the production rate as well so with that Tanova ABB patented technology, that's that's a real game changer. Yeah. Now, people watching this, Steve might say, "Listen, this sounds great," and and understand the huge amount of work that is required to get to that place. But they may say, "Yeah, we haven't got the national grid connections." But you, but you can't wait until the national grid connection is up and running before you start work. You can't wait until the electric arc furnace is in place before you put your stirring technology in. How do you work between those different partners to make sure everything's uh, happening at the same time? That's a great question. So, so what's going to happen is National Grid are going to be ready towards the end of 2027. So they'll give us a, a socket so we can plug into it, 33,000 volts. Right Between now and then, the buildings have to be made, the foundations have to be made, the cables have to be laid, all the switch gear has to be put in, it has to be tested. And we can't just do it in one go. It all has to be done um, around all the other work that's going on. Yeah. So... What we'll do is we'll, we'll phase each area of plant testing so that it can be commissioned. So as soon as we get the electricity connection from the grid, we can then commission the equipment in the right order. Yeah. So if you want, this is a real bottleneck mm. process to actually get this, this thing done in the right order. Mm. And it's going to be really challenging. But... Yeah. Um, that's what we're here for. We're here to yes, succeed indeed. at those sort of challenges. Yeah, listen, thanks very much for coming out with us today, Steve, and explaining that because it is a piece of the project that people may not have realised uh, has to happen at the same time as the construction. And there we have another contract with another major supplier to the electric arc furnace. A real case of collaboration, as you heard Steve talking about there, the need to collaborate with Tonova and come up with a patented technology, the need to collaborate with the national grid in terms of uh, the power source that's coming in and connecting up and of course the need to collaborate with Tata Steel and all the engineers on site in terms of all the groundworks and the buildings and the connections that need to be made across the steel plant. Steve, listen, we will definitely come back and see how it's going over the coming uh, months and years because it's a fascinating part of the project and uh, one without which uh, nothing happens I guess. So. Well, that's right. Nothing happens without electricity. It's an electric art furnace. <laughs> On that note, thanks very much, Steve. We'll catch up soon. Okay. Cheers. Bye.